Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, we are looking at three new stocks that I've added to my portfolio. These companies are definitely a great addition to my portfolio. And the reason I say that is because one of the companies is really undervalued. The other two are REITs. And REITs are real estate investment trust. And when you look at my portfolio, generally just the dividend paying companies, right? You can see 24% of that is... Um, of the companies that I own in my portfolio are in the information technology sector. When you look at real estate, I've got less than 1%, financials and so on. And then you've got um, utilities, energy, and communications. Now, all of these sectors are as important as the rest of them. So I'm trying to diversify and create a diversified portfolio that hopefully can weather any you know, economic situation that we might face in the next few years and REITs are obviously instead of buying a brand new apartment whatever REITs are one of the easiest way to easiest ways to invest in real estate so I bought two new REIT, um, REITs and I also bought an, one technology sector and uh, one technology company so let's get started and look at the first company so the first company is UK in the UK so it's Secro um, PLC this company is up in the last five years is up 97 percent okay so if you basically bought this company you basically about five years ago right now you will be 95 percent up the company is basically based in the uk like i said and they are the leading owner manager and developer of a modern warehouse and light industrial properties right now they are trading about 16 percent undervalued the revenue is actually expected to grow about 16 uh, 6.42 percent next year when you look at the the some of the things they do okay examples of users of our big box spaces okay they so they have companies in the retail sector that uses the warehouses this company builds so what they do is they buy the land they buy the uh, and then they build it okay so they build these warehouses so other companies can use it so they have third party logistics and transport companies manufacturers distributors all of that and they have examples of you um, users of our um, urban spaces so their urban spaces is basically retails and supermarkets and i will show you exactly some of the companies that they actually work with in a second when you look at the, this section you can tell how diversified this REIT is okay and when you look at Greater London, they've got three areas. They've got Park Royal, which is one of the biggest ones. Okay, you've got London airports and the rest um, of London. If you've never, if you've never been to London, have you, okay, then whenever you are around the next time, go to Park Royal. So they've got loads of entertainment sections. They've got um, loads of warehouses. So many warehouses. Ge just genuinely is unbelievable. Okay. You've got Thames Valley ones, you've got the National Logistics. So they've got different sections within the basically different areas within the UK. So they cover quite a bit in the UK. On top of that, they cover Southern Europe, Northern and Central Europe. Okay, so France, Italy, Spain, Germany, uh, Netherlands, Poland and Czech Republic, all of these uh, countries. So it is a very well diversified REIT and some of their customers okay, include companies like Amazon, for example, DHL, Royal Mail, FedEx, and so on. They even have the data centers, Netflix in there, Tesco's. Okay? These are brand name companies. They're big companies themselves. So having rented their warehouses to these companies is actually a great thing. So that means... Amazon is not going anywhere, DHL is not going anywhere, Royal Mail is not going anywhere, FedEx or so on, okay? So for that reason, I decided to put a little bit of money into this business. And they have a consistently um, delivering strong returns. So from passing rent, which is 12% up for um, compounding annual, annual growth, um, growth rate, same things for um, adjusted NAV, 19%. 9% basically earnings per share, adjusted earnings per share, and then dividends per share has also been growing about 9% in the last six years. So it's a great company. It's a very small business, but it's one of those companies that I'm definitely happy to add to my portfolio. And if you're really interested to find out a bit more information about the company, there's a lot more to look at in their, in their financials. And as you can see here, valuation surpluses are based on the UK, the whole portfolio, the continental Europe. So there's a lot more information and I'm still going through this. I 
purchased a couple of share, a few shares of this company and I'll share that with you towards the end. But yeah, so this is the first company that I want to talk about today. And when it comes to the market cap, it's only 11 point, um, 11 and a half billion dollars market cap and they pay nice dividend 2.55 and when you look at their PE 2.82 right now. So it just actually seems undervalued at the moment. I'm definitely adding to it as we go along next few weeks and months to come. So that is the first company we're looking at. The next company we're looking at is Tax Big Box Retail B PLC and this is one of the companies that I've actually added and this is the second REIT. Again, this is based in the UK. In the last five years, they are up about 25%. One of the reasons I decided to add this company as well is because of their customer base. So let me quickly show you the, some of their customers. So from Kaylock, for example, from Royal Mail to DHL to Unilever, for example, they have Argus, for example, TK, um, TK Maxx, um, they've got Screwfix, Tesco's, Morrison's, um, Sainsbury, you name it, Amazon, the next. So the, between the two companies, they generally own, basically, their customers are everybody, even in, in, including Mattel and New Look and Next or whatever. All of these companies are majority of them obviously international some of them are just uk based companies like this tesco's and sainsbury's and whatever um and these are not going anywhere these companies are not going to go anywhere anytime soon so i like the fact that i own basically i've now added those two companies to my portfolio because that means between the two companies they basically own everything that's out there in terms of warehouse in terms of the spaces these companies use so that is the second company and when we look at their financials okay um Basically, they're trading at least now 40%, almost 40% below our estimated of its fair value. Revenue is about expected to grow about 9%, and earnings is basically expected and has basically grown, um, has grown basically over 116% uh, over the last uh, year. So, which is really great, like when you see that kind of thing. And the one thing I want to show you is this. And when you look at this, the company mainly focuses in the UK. So basically because they're UK based company, they they don't have actually any European branch that I know of. Okay. They don't have any business in the other European countries, but you can see in terms of every time I go to the Eastern Midlands, like less than that area, right? I see their, this company, they're basically the massive warehouses this company built. Okay. So you can see the majority of that money basically on their re revenue will definitely come from Eastern Midlands and so on. And the companies that are in there include the older companies that I've just shown you here. Okay, from Amazon and so on. So every time you order something on Amazon, it's probably look the product itself is located somewhere in the Midlands. Okay, an Amazon warehouse somewhere, and okay, in the Midlands. And like I said, look at this. So their top five customers are basically Amazon. Morrison's, Tesco's, and so on. So again, it's a great company. I genuinely think it's undervalued at the moment. Um, I'm just gonna keep adding to my portfolio, and then I've already added to my portfolio, but I'm gonna, gonna keep dollar cost averaging into it. And I love the fact that it's UK based, and so there's no FX situation going on. And in the long run, what I wanna do is, I wanna have a portfolio that's balanced between US and the UK. Obviously more towards the US, because a lot of the great companies are based in the US, but also have a ex massive exposure to the UK um, sectors, or UK um, stock market as well. All right, the final company I'm going to talk about today is ASML Holdings. This is the Dutch company, but obviously in the U U.S. stock market, the traders in the U.S. stock market, in the Nasdaq. Um, and this is a great company that we've talked about this before. This company owns a lot of products, and some of these products are actually needed in the world of semiconductors. These products, these massive things, okay, they look like a, um, a let me just quickly show you what, they look like in fact look at that that just looks like to me when i looked at the first time i was like okay this looks like a, a locker room for example but they have so many these products apparently that one thing cost is millions of pounds so let me let me show you some what some of these things so they got different sections within when you go inside that thing there's loads of different sections and what they're doing is basically these products is what's used in order to create the semiconductors so companies, the foundry companies like um, Tower Semiconductor and Net um, and uh, Intel use this comp basically product the comp this company creates to in order to be able to actually design and manufacture these things. So it's not 
there's not other companies there's not that many other companies out there that do this type of product so they kind of monopolize the market so it's the great company but right now five stars i've talked about this before the, in terms of financial side of things but when you look at the key ratios for example okay they've got 10 billion dollars in the bank net income for the for last five years is about 31 percent return on equity 46 percent net margin almost a 50 percent and return on an as asset 18%. So it's a great company and it's really undervalued. The price should be about $800 per share right now, but it's 450 just almost a half. That's why basically I, I have added little bit of this company to my portfolio. So let's go over and show you what I've done. So let me go to all investment. So as you can see here, ASML, I'm down at the moment about 9%. Okay, I bought um, just 0.3% of basically three uh, point shares right now. In, my, in this portfolio and uh, the other two so I'm gonna keep buying it a little bit more every single week just like what I've done with every other company that I own in my portfolio Seagrows here again 361 pounds that I put in or 380 something but right now I'm down about 24 pounds and I'm gonna definitely keep adding to it in the next few weeks um, and then the final one is Tritex and this is just up a little bit just today. I actually purchased this today and the money that I put into this um, stock, okay, it was actually dividend that I've received from um, other companies last week. I think I shared that with you guys last in the last video. So that £26 that I got last week, I've actually um, used that to buy this. And again, this company pays dividend, this one pays dividend and this one definitely pays one i think it's about one percent dividend so again great dividend companies um right now i own 31 shares so i will be doing a portfolio update in the next couple of days i'll share that with you just to kind of dig deeper and tell you my plan for the next six months we, since we are midway through the year and what i'm planning to do with the portfolio if there's any sales any buys and whatever i hope you're enjoying these videos okay if you lasted this long and you haven't given the video a like please 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 do that because it helps a lot okay to create this kind of type of content and at the same time it will help the channel grow so i hope you have a wonderful day assalamu alaikum take care